Okay, um, good evening, good afternoon, good morning from whenever you're calling in from or wherever you're watching this recording from. Hope we had a fantastic weekend. Um, had a very um, um, long one. It was quite busy for me. I uh, had um, a, an event in church, uh, recharge. I was preaching and I was leading praise worship as well. So if you if you want to catch that, uh, go to my Facebook page. I think I have that shared on there. <laughs> uh, so yep, that's um, that's about my own side, my own life. Now let's go into the forex life. I think this week might be a bit um, interesting as well because of the numerous news releases that we have. Oh, by the way, for the guys that are from Nigeria, um, yep, I, I hope you know, I hope you've heard the news that the election has been postponed. So it means we might be, well, I don't want to really, because I know Nigerian election doesn't really have any much impact on the currencies that we trade here, but it's always so also always good to be on the um, um, be be in the know. You you never know because sometimes when things like that happen, normally I think countries like the US they always um, tend to be much more involved. So you, although it doesn't really affect, I've never seen it affect currencies, you know, the ones we trade, but it's always always good to be in the know of things that are happening around us. So I don't know when the next election is, when the election is slated for, but I think it's been postponed till further notice, or maybe in March, probably might be holding in March, I'm not really sure. Yeah, but that's Nigerian election. But I think on Monday we'll be having a bank holiday. I think they call it the President's Day or something. But that doesn't really stop the um, forex markets um, from um, operating. I think what really stops forex markets from operating is the, um, um, based on what I uh, read, it's um, the um, holidays like the Christmas holidays or possibly Easter as well. Yeah, but um, we'll still be expecting some uh, movements in the market, but may not be as volatile as we expect them, as they normally are. But as you, if you, can, if you just look at it, Tuesday to Friday, we have a number of news releases that would affect most currencies that we are looking to trade this week. So be on the lookout for that. Again, I don't want to make this so long, so I'm just going to dive right in. So one of the first ones I want to look at is gold. Gold, if you are in gold already or if you followed my analysis on gold i said was going to do that break out and then retest and bounce and that is what happened here so right now this is where it is at i'm expecting it to continue to the upside excuse me and then possibly when it gets to the upside then we're going to see another drop yep why am i expecting a drop at that level i do don't like red why am I expecting a drop? Because that's like a major level. Because if you go to the um, higher time frame, you would notice that there is nothing on the left. So when price got to that level, it dropped. So now it's going back to that level. So it's possibly going to hit it. And we might see that double top. And then we'll see it come down. But um, who knows? It may come as low as this level. It may come as low as the, as at as this level and then shoot up, you know. So that's one thing to be on the lookout for. So you can eat from there. If you're not already in it, you can let it go. It's probably set a sell limit somewhere around at the on top here because as you can notice, price got there, dropped, got there, dropped, and um, it's approaching there again. So I'm expecting it to go and then drop and then possibly when it gets to this level, possibly. You know, because it looks quite bullish. If you guys look at, can see that it still looks quite bullish. You know, so I'm expecting that to bounce up and then possibly to the next level. So that would be a good win for us. So just be on the lookout for that trade. For some of us that don't trade gold, so we just you have to trade it gently, so you don't um, so you don't um, yeah, it doesn't hit hit you hard because when it hits, it hits bad. So what I want you to do, just be on the lookout, watch this carefully. If you're not already in it, let it go. Uh, you can wait for it at this level. Or if you just want to scalp it and draw your line around here, you know how we do, draw your line around there. And then um, like my lines to be quite straight. Uh, so then 
can't get it to be straight, so I'm just going to let it go. So draw your line around there and then see it come back to that level and then trade it back there. That is what you do. Yep. So that's gold. Um, AUD and ZD. I'm really, really, really look, waiting for all of these guys to play out because if you look at this, it's at the bottom of that level. So, and came see what happened came down bounce came down bounce came down again and bounced so what i'm expecting right now well i didn't enter this level i didn't get the trade when it came to that level it was too fast for us you know so now possibly what may happen it may decide to come down again it may come down again to that level before bouncing you know but generally this guy is going back up that is where it's going back to my expectation so if we can get an entry at this from here don't don't look for an entry at this level yet let it come back up so i'm waiting for this to come back to the top here this is where i'll start looking for an entry for me i'm gonna start looking for an entry somewhere around here if it breaks that level why am i saying that because it's not um it got there before and rejected so i want it to go and break it then i can tp here first of all and then if that breaks, then I can start looking for another sell to the upside. But just follow the trade. If you're not already in, if you're not buying this, if you're not already in this sell, then wait for this to break. If you expect, if you expect it to break, then if it breaks, sorry. If it breaks, let it come back to that level and then look for the sell. Yep. Now, if you're not already selling this, like I say again, let it break that level. So you have to drop down to your smaller time frame, let it break that level and come back. And then you can sell to that level. But me, I'm really looking for the upside. So I'm waiting for price to come here and I can clearly see it break that level that I'll buy to the upside. There's no, um, there's no, uh, what's it called now? There's no loss in waiting. You know, no harm in waiting, uh, I should say. So if you can wait, just wait for this guy to come all the way back up. And But if it comes in and then you see it rejected, you can sell it back down, you know, if you want to scalp it. But for me, I'm really waiting to see that break out to the upside. So because we still have a long way to go. Uh, hold on, please. Um, sorry about that. So that's A, U, D, and Z, D. So it needs to climb up, reach as that, and then take it first TP, and the next TP will probably be this level, key level. Or you can look at it at this level, but I'm, I'm generally expecting this to come from there. You know, that's where we are going to for that trade. Um, Euro and Z, D, you know, we're waiting for that to drop to the downside and then take us back up. Why? Because of that first bottom and then this is creating a double, the second bottom now. So it's going to take us back to that key level. So I would put a buy limit here and then wait for that to happen. Um, so that's my trade for NZD, I mean Euro NZD. Let me see if you see if you can see it's still looking so bearish so let it come come all the way here but you don't need to enter into it and right now there's nothing because there's a risk that you it might just bounce off from there you know so just get a good entry good entry will be here so that your stop loss will just be a few pips here and then if it breaks that then you know you can still get a better entry you get out and wait for it to create but generally i know this is going up you know because of that though because there's really nothing else here to trade unless this level but again if if it if it doesn't play out and it comes this low it means I have a better opportunity to trade it to the upside for a thousand plus pips. So guys, so just be on the lookout for that one. Euro NCD. Um pound Swiss franc. Been waiting for that to play out. See that what happened last week. This is what I expected to happen. So as you can see, 
yep went up then came back down and it's been in that channel for i mean throughout that term last week so I want it now to break to the upside and then i can tp around here generally what we're looking to trade is this double bottom yep that double bottom to play out so what if that this is what can also happen you know how I like to trade, uh, be on the lookout. Like, this can also happen. So you have your double top there and then price comes back down. That happen, we've seen that happen in, is it NZD you, um, card or something? So that may happen again. And then you can keep seeing that move. And then this becomes um, becomes consolidation. See? So what if, if we can get that break to the upside we trade it to that level and then we can get another break to the upside and then our double bottom plays out for us then we'll generally win that move generally win that move yep so you can see it measured move if we can get that break to the upside and then that's all of that is us so we we'll get an entry here for 200 plus pips and we can get another one here as um 680 pips so yep again if that upside doesn't play out then that's why we have these levels here yep so right now if price come i may not be able to i may not take anything here because it's as you can see broke out and then get went back in the next available level for me to trade from will be this one right here for price to break that level and then i look for an entry there. If I took a trade here, I probably would have lost it because my stop loss would have been somewhere around here and then it would have come back and hit me. So I'll look for another opportunity somewhere here for this to be broken and then the retest of that level, my first TP here. And then if that's broken, continue trading to the downside. But I generally believe this is going to be, um, this is going to go up. And again, if it doesn't go up so good, just um, trade it back like you've seen. Uh, I think I created this last week. I traded back down to that level and then look for another buy to the upside. Um, Forex is art, <laughs> you know, but um, I just let it play, let it play out, let it play out. Right now, you can't trade in the, unless you just want to scalp up and down the, that channel that has been uh, formed now. If you want to do that, you can buy here and then, but then you can, you may not really know whether it's going to continue downside or it's going to break out. You know, but if you just want to take the risk and jump in and then your stop loss somewhere around here, then you buy it back down. Then you buy it back down. Okay, so that's that one. Um, pound Swiss franc. Pound Aussie. I think this one, if you guys can see what I see, I think you can see it's forming the head and shoulder. And if you can, that's two things now. Two things are possible. Now, head and shoulder. So excuse me, please. The head and shoulder, first of all, before the head and shoulder, see that move, came in, bounced off that level, went, um, bounced off that level, went, and now it came back to that level. So possibility is that this thing, oh, where is it now? Is that this thing bounces off this level and then gets to that level. That is what is possible. But I'm not really looking to trade that. Trade that. For me, I'm not really looking to trade that. I'm looking to trade this one. So it means if that plays out, all the better. But uh, my own trade will be here. I'm expecting this to happen, that um, head and shoulder to play out, that break, and then take my pip, take my trade to the downside here. So I need to see a break of that level. And then that's my trade right there for that head and shoulder to play complete. You know, but so again, people want to also watch this as well, possibility of price doing that and then possibly from there it can drop it's still within the range because it hasn't broken the ahead yet so anybody i'm not looking for that upside i'm waiting for this one you know there are many other trades to take you know instead of that one you know. many other trades to take all right then um usd card Yep, see that inverted that we are play, we are waiting for. Again, remember what I told you the last time that we may not necessarily see that thing go like that. Why? Because look at what the left shoulder looks like. So probably might see something like this. If you watch my um, last week analysis, you see what I told you that you might see that kind of move before that. 
so we won't get a direct move to the upside. That is, if this is a valid inverted head and shoulder, we're definitely going to see something like this, some kind of move like that, you know, before that. Again, um, that's one uh, one perspective of it. Another perspective is that price could just decide, okay, I'm not going to give you that inverted head and shoulder. I'm just going to keep coming down. And then, <laughs> why? Let me give you why. Because of that, um, this thing, remember that channel that we're looking at, that massive channel. So price may just want to do that and then continue to the downside. And Because right now, it's presently on a downtrend. So it may just continue to the downside and then come down to that bottom of that channel before bounce, finally bouncing. So, but who knows? Anything is possible with the forest market. So right now, it's strong. It's the, this candle is strong. I see that move. And then back to that level. Yep. That's one opportunity. What um, scenario? Oh, I see that move. Then price just keeps doing that. And then continues to the downside here. And then we can now look for a trade to the upside. So, but whatever be the case, a trade to trade this one right now because um, I think I'm still in this trade. It hasn't taken me out of the market yet. But for you to trade this one, I would say if to confirm that this would be a buy, um, a sell, let it come. If you want to be as patient as me, you can just let it come down possibly to this level. Then you can start looking for a trade there. You know, if you want to confirm, just or if you want to take an early entry, then let it do that, possibly retest that, and then you trade it back down here. Yep, so that's your move. Again, you can let this all this play out, and then you look for your trade here, then your TP here, and then if that breaks, and then your TP will be here, this level. Yep. So that's one scenario. Second scenario, can wait for you to break out, retest that level, and then first TP here, break second TP. So that you can find by dropping down to your smaller time frame. That's this level. So you start seeing what's... So right now it's breaking, although it's slowing down. The intensity is not as great as it was before, but you can quickly, you know, just, you know, if it breaks out completely, your stop loss will be somewhere around here, then you can, you know, but then you might, might need to get some retest of that level for you to confirm that move and then you can trade it to that level. Let me see how many pips that would be if you can get an entry there. Um, that would be about, um, uh, not too bad, 40 pips. So yeah, quick scalp. All right, that's USD card. But again, remember how we do, how we do. I'm gonna look at the analysis. Of, look at the analysis, and then we we'll trade um, them together. You know, presenting in the charts as they occur together, so we can all trade them together. Euro pound, Euro pound. You know, I know I don't particularly like to trade Euro pound, but um, <coughs> I'm just gonna follow this one. I thought this was gonna give me the um, retest that level and give that inverted from there but it kind of came down to but still in the neckline I mean in the left shoulder so it's not it's not yet um invalid the, in fact this is a very good place to look for an entry if you want to trade this thing very very good place to look for an entry so your entry will be here so it means if you enter at this point that is if the price opens at that level but price may open lower or open a bit higher. I don't know when, where it's going to open, but it's a very good place. But it means your stop loss would be here. So in fact, to be, let me. some people can decide to put their stop loss here. Some can say, I want to be more conservative and then drag, drag it around here. Why are we trading that? What are we tra trying to trade? We're trying to trade this inverted head and shoulder. You know, that's what we're trying to trade. Retest and then bounce to the upside yep so but again we can never tell that this is going to be an all um valid trade but if that breaks all of that breaks this is your trade right there to this level somebody's calling me let me just some silent that sorry 
put that on silent. Okay. Yep. So that's that one. To be honest, if you ask me, I wouldn't really be looking for the downside of that trade. You know, my buyers would be more on the upside. Let me see. Yeah. Cuts. It's, I don't really like the way this looks. It looks also choppy everywhere. You know? So if you want to take a trade, you can wait for that level to break and retest, and then you can what look for to TP here. Why? Because that level, you see what that level is. It's a strong level. Price has been rejecting it, so you don't want to get caught in that um, small move. You can reject and then keep going to the upside. We said, look at that massive rejection here. Is that a rejection of my candle? Okay, that's my um, my um, stuff. So yeah, so this, look at that. Is that a rejection? Okay, that's a rejection. This one right here is a rejection. This one here is a rejection. Look at that. This one is my uh, marking. Although yes, there is a rejection on the upside, so that's why you also want to, you know, either ignore it altogether, you know, or again, if you want to take the risk. We can trade it together, but um, carefully. Look at that move. Invite looks like a clean inverted head and shoulder. So we'll take an entry here. If it opens at that level, stop loss here, and then we see if we can get that. Um, measured move to the upside. That's the level. Let me see if it aligns anywhere. Yeah, pretty close. So TP around there. All right, let me keep that there. Okay. Um, card yen, card yen, card yen. Same thing like uh, what we saw earlier. Key level, this is a key level. Price came there, bounce, came there, bounce. This is came there, we were looking at that inverted head and shoulder from way back, uh, to the left, um, uh, right shoulder really stretched. Yep, but it's still within tradable range. So I still believe that this is still going up. You know, I still believe that this is still going up, you know, 700 plus. So, but this is where it is at, at the moment. So if you want to trade this one, of possibility, that could be, a double that could be a double top meaning what does that mean it means that because look at that giant candle that means probably price is trying to come down but i don't really believe i don't really trust it so probably the price is trying to do that and then continue to the downside possibly come back down there or down here before finally bouncing up you know so, but I expected this to just keep going over. It's been dragging for like forever. But see what I mean. If you guys can see what I mean. See, price came to that level, bounce, came to that level, bounce, came back to that level and gave that massive rejection. So as you can see, it's headed up there, but we don't know how far up it's going to go before coming down and then going back up. It does like that. It just doesn't go in one direction. So we saw that massive drop and then it pushed up again and then dropped again and it's pushing up so if i'm gonna trade this i would generally wait for price to break this level retest that level and then take it to the upside so i'm more biased towards the upside i'm not even trying to look for a trade to the downside even though this points shows me like a double top but normally how i trade double tops at i trade double tops and double bottoms at the top of or key level or at the bottom of a key level i try to avoid trading double tops in the middle of a, a move like this although it could be a short-term rejection a short-term um counter trend trading so this might just be um some form of counter trend trading to bring you back to this level or maybe you know or bring you back to put some of that and now something you know so possibly possibly bring you back to the bottom of this and then bounce so that's possible but i'm not really looking to trade it downside i'm more particular about the upside so this is my trade yep yeah that's what i if it happens that price continues i wouldn't bother about this i won't trade it because it, it doesn't um you know, taking too much risk. So I'm going to ignore it altogether. So that's, um okay. I think I've, uh, I've pretty much covered what I wanted to show today. So I would see you guys um, on the other side, but I'll take questions on the platform if there are any.
So have a fantastic trading week. God bless.